Welcome back after the break. As promised, here's some news on Shri Devi. Good news for all you Shri Devi fans. The original Queen Bee of Bollywood is all set to make a comeback. Now, Bipasha Basu in the news for all sorts of reasons and the most happiest news that I ever heard recently was that her and John Abraham have broken up. True or not, I'm still yet to decide. But nevertheless, I caught up with Bipasha earlier on this week to have a chat about the movie over the phone and this is what happened. Hi, Bipasha. Hi, Bipasha. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good. Fine. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another episode of E for You with me, Deepa Rai. Now today I have one very, very special guest on the show with me. Now he tells a girl, Sony Lagdi, he makes sure we throw our moves on the dance floor and he asked you the question, Punjabi Anukoni Janda, and he certainly is Mr. Ashik. And if you haven't figured out already who I'm joined by, let me tell you, it's none other than Punjabi by nature. Welcome to E for You. Now, while the actress, she will be sharing screen space with another actress who is yet to be decided. Now, I can, you know, calm thoda samay halka kar dete you. Main hoon aaya pe. Now, this brings some sort of relief to the actress who was last seen in a supporting role in Kunal Kohli's Thoda Pyar, Thoda Magic. Now we also hear that the Twilight players are also part of Bombay Velvet. Yes, it's the trio who gave us an unforgettable performance with their popping and locking dance steps in Anurag Kashyap's Dev D, which was the kind of like a contemporary do of Dev Das. Now they will be seen together once again. Now Bombay Velvet will surely be the biggest collaboration of Hollywood and Bollywood. I think last time I saw you was on Pasakhi on the Square. Right. Absolutely great performance. Thank you. Um, you know your songs, videos. You know you see Navin's performing here, Navin's performing there. This yeah. must be like a dream come true for you. How does it feel? Welcome back after the break. The cat fight between Katrina Kaif and Sonakshi Sinha is getting hotter by the day. So it doesn't matter if it's a one-pound hair clip or a four-hundred-pound pair of shoes. According to recent research, splashing out is good for us. So today I'm here in the West End to find out exactly how much people spend on themselves. Follow me. Uh, probably about a jacket, about 150 to 200. 200 pounds. And where was it from? Versace. It has to be my Stella McCartney dress, which I bought for myself as a Christmas present. Okay, so we've had the Armani sunglasses, we've had the Versace jacket, and we've also had the Stella McCartney dress. Which reminds me, even I spent 500 pounds on a handbag, and I don't even use it. What is all that about? Imagine high security, Bollywood celebs, an investment of millions of pounds. No, it's not a movie I'm talking about. This is apparently the new world of cricket. That's right. Today, I'm off to the Lords Cricket Ground to speak to ICC President David Morgan to find out whether he thinks this modern version of cricket is a big sixer or an out. Follow me. Last but not least, this is clearly the hottest place to be. It's the ice bar, a complete unforgettable experience. It's super cool and I'm really cold, so I'm going to get my last vodka shot and I'll see you next week. Look what she does to me. It doesn't work. Told you it takes a lot to impress you, Bryce. It takes a lot. It takes a does lot. It take a lot? I've absolutely loved this episode for today. And uh, make sure you tune in for some more surprises only on Sunrise TV. This is Deepa Rice signing out, and I'll see you next week.